the reality is that Claudia Jones did uh, an event in St Pancras Town Hall yeah. um, post the 58, the, the riots of 58, and that was primarily um, done to sort of ease racial tensions. Yes. On the front of, a, of the 59 programme, it clearly states that the proceeds of this brochure will, part of the proceeds of this brochure will go towards paying the fines of black and white youths. Yes. Great initiative um, from Claudia Jones. It was an indoor event. It was at St Pancras. It moved to Seymour Hall. It was in uh, Porchester Hall. There was the, you know, it, um, the Lyceum. Um, year, year after year. Yes. It was an indoor event which had absolutely nothing to do with the Notting Hill. And this is a key thing that you're saying not only through exhibitions but also in a book called uh, Lo Lazlitz La Carnival. Lazlitz Carnival, the history yes. of Notting Hill Carnival. Yes. The woman who started the event as a street uh, event to bring d people from different communities together because her idea was that we all live in this slum together. And so she brought out Nigerians, Portuguese, Ukrainian, Greek, and it was about people coming out from various communities. You can trace how the Caribbean roots came into it. Russ Anderson was a musician, a classical musician, who also played at, at Claudia Jones event in 59. What happened was when Ronnie Lazar was trying to get these different communities to come out, she'd heard that Russ Anderson was this famous musician who many of the West Indians followed him, and he was known in Notting Hill. And so she asked him if he'd come and play. When Russ came out and played, Notting Hill had the largest congestion of blacks in Britain at that time. Around, you know, and, uh, and when he came out playing the Steel Pan, many people from the Caribbean and the diaspora heard the familiar sound of home, came out, flooded the streets, and you know, many of them wrote back home saying, "Oh, we had a little we had a little carnival here." 